So in this example, ladies and gentlemen, when we're adding and subtracting, what we talked about in class was to make sure before you add and subtract, you've got to make sure you simplify. The radicands have to be exactly the same. We cannot add or subtract unless the radicands are exactly the same. So here I have 27, and here I have 12. I cannot add or subtract these. All right. So the first thing I need to do is simplify them. Now, you can use the factor tree like we've learned before. You could break this down and then take out the pairs of numbers because it's the square root. Or we could also go ahead and take a look at this and rewrite this as what square number, is mo what square number divides into 27? What number that can take the square root of divides into 27? No. Well, let's think of the square numbers. No. Well, think of square numbers. 4, Not, no. 9, 16, 25. Do any of those fours, nine? No, no, no. Nine. Nine times three is 27. Then we could also do, what about 12? Square root of 12. Is there any square number that divides into four? And how many times does four go in there? Three. Three times. So now, by rewriting them as a square number, the reason why I like using this method, you guys, again, you can use the factor tree. But I'm trying to make this go by a little bit quicker than having to factor the whole problem down every single time. Now, if I take the square root of 9, that's going to give me 3 times the square root of 3 minus the square root of 4 is 2 times the square root of 3. Does everybody see what I did? I just basically took the square root of the square number. And then how many times that square number divided into it still needed to remain here? I have a question. Yep. I'll answer that question after I'm done going over this. So therefore, I have 10 times 3, which is 30, times the square root of 3, minus 8 times the square root of 3. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this is just like if I was doing 30x minus 8x. We are going to keep our radicand, or keep our radical expressions, and we're just going to subtract our coefficients, which would be 30 minus 8, which would be 22 square root of 3. And that would be our final answer, OK?